Making surface area measurements used to be a time-consuming and laborious process. But now, using the revolutionary Acorn Area, these measurements can be done in as little as five minutes. Today, I'm going to show you just how simple it can be to make a surface area measurement of a sample using our Acorn Area and Area Quant software program. I'll be using 30 weight percent suspension of silica nanoparticles. But before we make a measurement of that sample, we need to find the resonant frequency, which will take about two minutes. To do this, we use a verification standard that is provided with the ACORN area. To make a measurement, simply fill the NMR tube with the standard and then insert it into the instrument, making sure it reaches the bottom. We find resonant frequency by clicking Setup and then Find Resonance. The ACORN area should have already adjusted to the temperature of the room it is in. Under ordinary circumstances, the resonant frequency changes only slightly and need only be adjusted once or twice a day. If you are simply repeating a measurement on a sample that you have run before, you can click on File, Open Recent Data File, select the appropriate data file, enter the new sample name, and start the experiment. All the relevant sample and test parameters will be loaded automatically. Note that if you include a dash and four digits at the end of the data file name, the software will auto-enumerate the data files, saving you the effort of explicitly renaming each experiment. To perform a surface area measurement on a new sample, you should first configure the software. You have two options, area by T1 or area by T2. The choice depends upon sample characteristics such as concentration. The T1 measurement takes a little longer than T2. Today we will demonstrate a T2 experiment. First select area by T2 from the pull down menu and enter the volume ratio of particles to liquid. If you don't know the volume ratio, you can press F4 and enter the particle and liquid density and the sample weight fraction and the software will calculate it for you. Next, enter the sample, user, and file names and you are ready to load the sample. Make sure your dispersion is fully mixed and load your sample into the NMR tube. Do your best to keep air bubbles out of the tube. You're now ready to insert your sample into the acorn area. To make a measurement of your sample, simply click Start. The default test parameters are usually adequate for most samples. During the measurement, the progress bar updates so that you can see the experiment time graphically as well as digitally. The data files are in XML spreadsheet format and can be opened directly in spreadsheet applications like Microsoft Excel and OpenOffice Calc without modification. The test results can also be saved as a PDF. Graphical test results can be copied to the clipboard or saved as a JPEG file. At the conclusion of the measurement, the data can be repeated or the sample can be discarded and a fresh sample measured. The measurement is non-invasive, so samples can be stored and remeasured at any future time. The measurement time varies depending on the type of sample and other specifications. But a typical length for most aqueous samples is 3 minutes for T2 and 10 minutes for T1. With routine use, it takes no more than 15 minutes to complete a measurement. The ACORN area is also available to monitor change in the particle liquid interface over time using the T2 as a function of time method. In conjunction with the flow through option, you can monitor important processes that change the particle liquid interface, such as surfactant absorption. The ACORN area can measure suspensions in virtually any liquid and is easy and simple to use. To find out more about the incredible cost-performance benefits that the ACORN area provides, to purchase your own, or to arrange for a demo, contact Exigo Nanotools today.